Uh, good morning, everybody. The present contribution aims to take stock of the availability, integration, use, and uh, above all, uh, production of digital cartographic data functional to archaeological research, available online through appropriate computer protocols, and released with open license to grant their reproducibility, their distribution, and their reuse. This contribution is, the, is therefore divided into two parts, one relating to the retrieval and the use of available cartographical sources, mainly using national and regional geoportals, and to their integration in appropriate GIS projects, specially structured for the aims of the current project. A second part relating to operative choices functional to the production of new cartographical open data concerning archaeology, and then the state of the art and future perspectives. This particular line of research has been structured within the research project of the Department of Architecture, Design and Urbanism of the University of Sassari, named Creation and Activation of the Sardinian Pole of the National Network for the Collective Construction of the WebGIS uh, of the National Archaeological Heritage, the CITAN, financed by the Autonomous Region of Sardinia. The research project was conceived within a national debate carried on by two interministerial committees of the Ministry for Cultural Heritage and Activities and Tourism and the Ministry for Instruction, University and Research over the past decade. Particularly, the second committee, active from 2009 and uh, 2011, and chaired by Giuseppe Sassatelli, issued a final document, still unedited, that dictates the directives for the definition of an archaeological special data infrastructure based on a national research network. An experimentation was initiated in Sardinia from 2012 through an academic research project involving different universities, the peripheral institution of Ministry for Cultural Heritage, the superintendents and the regional directions, and the Sardinia Autonomous Region. Specific aim of the project is to populate the geographic informative system, information system, introducing or uniforming the information received by graphic and alphanumeric existing bases, whether they are expressed in electronic format or not. As defined by the final document produced by the second interministerial committee, it was necessary to identify some reference cartographical sources functional to the current experimentation, the so-called base cartography, in raster format, possibly multi-temporal orthophotos, topographical maps at different scale, and in vector format, the levels, for example, of geographical database of Sardinia region, cadastral data, etc. Particularly, web map service, the WMS, web tiled map service, and the web feature service, uh, this is, uh, the, the, they are open cartographical sources, so open cartographical data. Particularly, the region Sardinia provides its cartographical data through an open distribution, Italian Open Data License 2.0. The, service uh, the services to which reference is made are standard protocols of interoperability of the cartographical datum even of archaeological nature, defined by the Open Geospatial Consortium, and it is possible to integrate them simply and intuitively within every client GIS software. Particularly, as we are going to see, the CITAM project opted for the use of free and open source softwares, such as Quantum GIS for the client side and Post GIS for the server side. In detail, the choice fell on the following source, here presented in expl explanatory roundup, multi-temporal orthophotos dist distributed through the WMTS and WMS protocol by Sardinian region, acquired in uh, 1954, 1968, etc. Uh, since the, uh, the orthophoto uh, 2008 in high re resolution, 
The original technical cartography to 10,000, uh, distributed by Sardinia through WMS, and the topographical cartography of the Geographical Military Institute, uh, distributed by the, minister, the Ministry of Environment in WMS. Also, the multi-precision database of Sardinia region, for example, administrative boundary, hydrography, infrastructures, buildings, uh, and also some archaeological data, like the inventory of archaeological heritage of the Sardinia region, produced in 2014. The cadastral cartography, differently from what happens in other regions, for example, in Tuscany, on the other nation, for example, in France, uh, the, um, the cadastral of central region, Region Sardinia doesn't distribute it in open format, but a registration of a reference from public administration is needed, and there are use and distribution limitations. We can now define the cartography produced and in production by the project. We have already explained in a two other sessions of this uh, CAA the data structure of the CITAM project, so I won't talk at length about this point, but I will center on the acquisition of a particular type of identificators, the archaeological restrictions, uh, ministerial archaeological restrictions or constraints. The pattern of acquisition of alphanumeric attributes has been defined on the basis of the indication of the interministerial committees, which had inherited them from the minimum mandatory data set chosen by the Central Institute for Catalog and the Documentation, the ICCD, during the experimentation of its informative module, the MODI. At the present, a project by ICCD <coughs> defined Vincolin Rete uh, is in experimentation too, but it's already in an embryonal phase. Let's come back to the instruments and to the methodology of acquisition. The modalities of data inter-exchange have been defined through a framework agreement between the department and the superintendents for archaeological heritage. The Ministry of Cultural Heritage doesn't have georeferenced the databases, and so more than 1,000 of archaeological restrictions or constraints relating to the provinces of Sassari and Nuoro in Sardinia have been scanned from paper decree transposed on the PDF files and divided by administrative field. The municipality, the cadastral sheet, and the cadastral parcel of, of reference were then identified using the reference digital cartography, where present the original draw of the cadastral parcel was acquired in raster format, then georeferenced on the basis of the cartography used and a vectoral layer was realized, structured as disposed by the mentioned joint committee. To do this, the QGIS software was used, depositing to the acquired data based on a PostgreSQL structured DB with a PostGIS geographical interface. This made possible to make available the acquired database to all members of the project <coughs> through an accredited connection with the username and password to PostGIS Server DB. Finish the, uh, the acquisition, the problem of diffusion, distribution, and use of the data arose. In the first moment, it was the site di the diffusion through key markup language, the KML format, as provided by the Sassatelli Committee, and use of a web mapping platform, Google Maps, through its uh, Google Maps engine. But Google Instruments, as well as other big private providers, even if free, are subjected to a use license constraining the data to the reference provider and then not allowing either the attribution of open licenses, such as Creative Commons, open data license, <laughs> etc., or a guarantee for the distribution, the reuse of data. The research was then oriented reasoning on an open web mapping community, particularly OpenStreetMap. We have tried to find an uh, interpretative key of the acquired datum according to the CITAN standard toward the migration to the OpenStreetMap format. To do this, PostGIS data was elaborated 
through the editing software JOSM and the necessary transformation and the implementation of keys and values besides the needed topological validation functional to data input into the system were made. This structure proved to be suitable to identify the acquired data according to some categories defined by the open community. For example, historical as archaeological sites, historical ruins, and historical heritage, and some tag and sub-tag, for example, the historical period, ancient Rome, or historical period neuragic. Identifying in the case of archaeological restriction or constraints, also a boundary called administrative, an entity that isn't, uh, that isn't visible or can, that can be found in the ground, but legally present. Furthermore, the already coded structure of OpenStreetMap could offer a really solar solution for the problem of the relationship between archaeological objects and the linked data in the network because the entities presented rep and represented uh, on OpenStreetMap are structured and defined in a linked way with a semantic function. And they are ready for the revolution writing down the web, the web of the object or semantic web. The idea of the migration toward OpenStreetMap has different illustrious precedents. Particularly, the idea was born following the recent procedure through which the Sardinia region, as well as many other nations and international administrations, allowed to the use of its cartographical open data for the implementation of OpenStreetMap platform. Then, an innovative scenario opens for the archaeological data inter-exchange of global bases. The possibility to implement continuously a georeferenced database, even if in its minimal form, <coughs> identifying a greatest common denominator, a socle commun, uh, as our French colleague uh, call it. In reference to what I said, it is useful to present a short roundup of examples related to the management, digi digitalization, and distribution of some of the produced data. The cases presented refer to archaeological sites at particular risk or heavily damaged by territorial changes. By autumn, we are, expect we are expected to publish a good part of data acquired by the OSM standard so that they could be available for the international community and try to involve, as far as possible, the greatest number of institutions, universities, and the produce, producers of archaeological data. Finally, it is necessary to highlight the difficulties, both present and, food and future, starting from the communication difficulties between different administrations concurring to the production of spatial, of spatial archaeological data, compared to, to the need of sharing and opening of raw data, appealing to the common commitment toward a shared ethical target, essential to arrive to a result too long postponed. So, as the title of this CAA, keep the revolution going. Thank you for your attention.